Hey, how's it going? This is Tom Burkhart for Car Revs Daily in the 2015 Buick Encore today. Uh, quick drive review in the, the Encore. Um, show off some of its great, great, uh, great powertrain and handling dynamics, as well as uh, the very quiet cabin and uh, and pretty, pretty stylish interior. It's pretty good overall. So let's dive in. So this Encore is the uh, the front wheel drive. There's front wheel drive and all wheel drive available for this compact crossover. But with front drive and the leather group, we come in with a, a base price of uh, 27,000 uh, and change. And to that sticker, we add uh, a few very, very useful options, uh, including like a, a $500 Bose stereo upgrade for the speakers, or maybe $600, and then um, a $500 upgrade to a seven inch navigation screen. Um, which is very very nice to have of course. I mean, it's it's what you want and without it It's just a display audio screen uh, for the Encore's uh, uh, Audio there, so we'll point you forward. We'll do a little driving the thing that's been so impressive to me about the Encore um, after spending some time very recently in its uh, in its um, budget sibling the Chevrolet Trax is that the Encore seems to uh, seems to really go down the road far better, um, and it's much quieter than the than the Chevrolet Trax, despite um, being on full throttle there. When you are when you do come off the throttle, um, this Encore really quiets down. I'm not sure if you can get a sense of it, but this is a very very quiet compact crossover um, versus the the vast majority of these little little trucklets um, are extremely noisy with wind and road and tire rumble um, as well as uh, engine noise. But uh, the Encore really takes it to the next level in terms of like a quasi luxury type um, um, insulation and uh, and feel for the vehicle once you're at speed. I think that um, most of the quiet tuning, as Buick calls it, has happened sort of like behind the engine firewall because there is still, you know, a little bit of uh, a, a, um, engine note as you really hammer the throttle. But you know, anything to make the car quieter on the highway is an absolute dream. And the second thing is that this Encore really is like a an excellent, excellent highway car. I mean, great steering really really solid tracking it tracks dead straight ahead very smooth um, is, is and is perfectly content to um, you know to cruise up to 70 80 you know even 85 90 miles an hour extremely comfortably and confidently which is not something that can be said for many compact crossovers these days um, after the new Jeep Renegade is uh, is is on the radar for this car as well as the Honda HRV Mitsubishi Outlander Sport um, some base Ford Escapes and um, uh, Nissan Juke Nissan Rogue I mean it's really sort of a broad a broad set but none of those cars really feel that happy um, on the highway they they don't they just don't feel like as confident as this Encore. So that's a really great trait, and um, it speaks to the fact that, uh, that despite being um, built in South Korea by GM's um, partners over there, this car is sold in Europe um, as an Opal, so it benefits from all of those, you know, all, like the high speed needs that they have. You know, it has really a much stronger brakes than the tracks, but it feels like it has heavier, meatier steering, um, better feel, and um, and and uh, 18 inch wheels, of course, versus the tracks, uh, which is on like 15, 16, 17s. So that makes a difference in terms of like its grip and its um its overall demeanor um, as as sort of a little when driving fast in a performance mode. But um, the, most of the people who buy this car are not gonna be, you know, super speed demons. It's really just, it's it offers what, what the Encore and all these compact crossovers um, promise buyers is that they can have sort of the, the elevated and um, much cooler look of an SUV on the road at, um, paired with uh, with city-friendly dimensions and uh, wallet-friendly efficiency. I said, but um, you know, we just did a little passing maneuver there. That's pretty rare for the for cars with a 1.4 liter turbo. I mean, the the fact of the matter is, this Encore has one of the best powertrains in its class, bar none. Um, it is shared with the Chevrolet Trax for 2015, uh, being a 1.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, making 138 horsepower and 148 foot pounds of torque through a six speed automatic transmission as standard. This is the only powertrain. Um, paired to, of course, front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, like we mentioned, um, and it's a good one. It's a really good one. It's a really, it's really um, a, a very 
the fact that it doesn't have a CVT and it does have this great steering and great brakes and all that stuff makes a really, really big difference um, in terms of the car's overall ability on the road. And for 2016, the Encore is getting a new top-level trim line called the, um, the Sport Touring which has 11% uh, more horsepower and 20% more torque. So that's a big lump of extra new torque. And um, I think it'll be very, very noticeable for drivers on the road. Um, doing a little construction here, it looks like. So um, all that is really good stuff. I'm really pleased with the Encore. I, I, um, I, don't, I don't love its, ex uh, or excuse me, I, I like its exterior design, but I think some of the detailing needs a little work particularly for the, uh, the as-tested price. We come in just at 29,965. So just a, sh including destination charge. So just a shade under 30 grand. And that's really critical because uh, anything over $30,000, despite you know, sort of like the Eurotune handling and, um, and softer materials inside, um, great, great um, NVH damping, despite all that, for more than $30,000, I mean, this, this Encore is, it's, it would be kind of pushing it just because of its, its overall scale is like still pretty small. <coughs> but that being said, I think the Encore Sport Touring trim will be a real, um, a, like a, a great option. I think it's a, with that 20% more torque, it seems like exactly sort of what the Encore needs to, to, um, to really finish its, its proposition and, um, and, you know, sex appeal to buyers. We're in like, a, we're in an appeal based market at this point. Um, whether people acknowledge it or not, the vehicle has to really draw, draw you in. And the Encore does that with its exterior style really effectively. It's actually like a really slinky look and it has um, some, um, some like artful creasing that continues the, the glass house, the roof line into the trunk and you know, little details like that as well as like a nice um, waterfall grill up front that's like a dark, a darker chrome. It really does look good, but it's missing, it's uh, as an 18 inch wheels down below. So it's like, it's got almost, it's almost there, but we've got like all halogen lighting on this thing. No HIDs, no LEDs whatsoever um, on the exterior of the Enclave which is a big letdown for um, a new, a new um, you know, world-class Buick. So uh, anything over that $30,000, you know, hopefully the, the Sport Touring trim will bag some HID lights at least for the low and high beams, or maybe just the low beams, and maybe some LED tail lights. But I mean, uh, overall, is that like a make or break thing for the car? The fact that it has, you know, um, that it lacks LEDs? No, of course not. The Encore is a really, really solid drive. And that's how it justifies its two to three thousand dollar premium over the Chevrolet Trax. Um, you have more advanced components. Um, uh, uh, I would say an extra, you know, hundred to hundred and fifty pounds of noise, vibration, and harshness insulation to make sure that the Enclave is, is as quiet as you can see it is right now on the highway, or you know, doing highway speeds. And um, and then you know, like a, a classier interior. The interior is good. It, it's very different from the tracks, actually, uh, where the tracks has a central touch screen, um, touch screen. I don't know why I can't say that right now. Uh, right in the dash, right here. The Enclave, of course, has, or excuse me, the Encore has uh, that screen up uh, in a raised uh, hooded binnacle. So then it's controlled by these these other menu these menu. Um, by this sort of like button fiesta here in the central in the, the central control area. So it's all button controlled. It's not touch screen because it's too far away. Then the buttons, I mean, I, I haven't driven this car too, too much, so I don't know. I'm just getting a sense of the buttons, but they are kind of irritating. Like when you're changing satellite radio stations, for example, you, instead of like a, a one, you know, one click on the tune knob to go from, I like the comedy, so I go from comedy 95 to 96 that should be like one click whereas on the enclave um it's uh it's one click to get its attention to go to audio mode one one turn click like i said to uh to make it uh change the station and then the final click is like you push in on the knob to select that uh that uh station so it's like three clicks and what really should just like be one so it's like kind of silly stuff like that that's um that uh, is not exactly um, as sophisticated as some of the latest GM cars or the latest tech from uh, from other manufacturers, but it is good. It's it's good. It's ex this is an extremely competitive little crossover, and with all-wheel drive, you know, there's there's no other way that uh, that you can get SUV style and coolness. Um, 
you know, mile per gallon efficiency above 30, 30 and, uh, and uh, all-wheel drive traction for, for all-weather driving. So, you know, the Enclave does definitely have value um, it, in terms of, uh, for buyers to look at. It's really, a, it's a fun little truck and it has a pretty big back seat despite being a compact. Uh, but the thing that's gonna really make the sale for you is if you love that high speed, dynamic poise, and um, really exceptional refinement uh, at those speeds. In, in that case, um, the Encore is uh, is the best in its class by far. Certainly the best compact crossover uh, under $30,000 for 2015 and likely to get even better for 2016 with the Sport Touring trim. All right, this is Tom Burkhart for Car Revs Daily. We'll see you guys next time.